Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Chesso bringing you a new video on Duel Links and today we are doing 5 PvP battles with a dragon deck that I have for you today. We'll quickly go over the deck list, it's pretty insane, and then we'll jump into some battles. Um, I'm not a giant fan of dragons, so I decided to do like a crazy, crazy kind of experiment with dragons with loads of different combos. It's got hard... L you can see it on screen right now. So we're running Gandora of the Dragon of Destruction for some reason. We've got this guy in here. We are running two Divine Dragons. Because of its ability, once per turn you can discard one card from your hand, target one dragon in your graveyard, add that to your hand. So that works with blowing up the field, then it's, if this guy gets destroyed or gone, or any other dragon that we need, we can bring him back if we need. So we can keep recycling him. The three Kidmodos, just for the pure fact that it's pretty beast. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a dragon from your hand. So you blow up the field if they're on the field as well, and then you can special summon some stuff. We're running the totem dragons as well to get out the blue ice, and for the simple fats, if you've got no monsters on the field during your main phase, it'll get special on, it'll get special summoned onto the field, meaning we can enemy controller uh, totem dragon, tribute it, take control of one of their monsters, and then dimensional gate. I saw that combo from Mass Garen on... Um, where was it? I saw it on his stream on Twitch. It was a pretty cool combo, so I've added that into here. Shout, shout out for him for well finding out about that. It's pretty cool because it comes back every turn, so you can just keep messing with their monsters. We've got two beaters, our big blue eyes white dragons. We're running a monster reincarnation, so we can discard a dragon that we don't need from our hands and grab something back if we need it. And yeah, this is the deck, and the wild tornadoes are there. When they get when they get destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you, um, we're gonna try it with Gandora's effect. We'll be able to, I don't know, see what we can do. It might just backfire and kill him. If now I thought about it, but we'll see what what happens. They're just there as well because we can use them to destroy Harpy's Hunting Ground, I think, and we can destroy our own dimensional gates with them. We're just gonna be testing this out, seeing what it will do. Um, if you wanna make this like halfway through the video and then you're like I can't be bothered skipping back to the beginning of the video to get the deck list I'll leave it in the description below and there'll be a link to this deck so let's just jump into it and the reason why we're doing five battles today is because it's the challenges the tasks have reset so if we get five battles we'll get a hundred stones and then we'll open up two packs at the end of the video see what we can get I have not tested this deck out whatsoever by the way this is the first time I've been testing it and it looks like we're going against a 3 star emote. Let's see what we can do against a 3 star emote. See if we can take control of the monsters. We'll see what happens. I did show um, show this to a few people and they said um, you might want to run it with balance instead of running it with Seto. And I think that's a pretty good idea. So I might swap this deck over to Seto at some later point. And he's resetting so that makes me believe that it might be a Gravekeeper deck. So, because it's our first turn, we'll just set the Totem Dragon, we'll set a Wild Tornado, and we'll just end our turn. We don't need to set the enemy controller yet, and there's a possibility he might just destroy the back row with some crazy combo, so it's best if we just keep it in our hand. So, he summons a Mirage Dragon. That's alright. I think this might be a Blue Ice deck. So, um, Totem Dragon goes to the graveyard. What we're gonna pull? A another totem dragon. Do we want to activate the ability of it? Uh, no, I don't think. This guy's pretty weak as well, so. How much does he get with that? Two hundred. No, it still won't be enough. I'll just set another totem dragon. In my turn. If we pull a blue ice next turn, that'll be pretty cool. And another good thing is if we just like spam the back row with loads of stuff and he spams, that'll be more cards on the field for um, Gandora to blow up. If we manage to um, get him. So he's just going in for his battle phase. I'll just turn this off. Now we'll turn it back on. Right, that's only got 800 defense though, so we can get over it with the enemy controller. A, you know what? I might just do it. Well, I got a feeling that'll just kill us. I'll summon one of them back. Hmm. 
Now the question is, do I do go for this? Is it by the opponents? Select one. If this sex card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, select one face-up card on the field, destroy it. So if we do use it for Gandora, it will blow itself up. And we don't want that. <laughs> so... We'll see what happens, actually. Let's just do it for science purposes. So we'll tribute this off. We'll activate its effect. Oh, it banishes the cards. Oh, I, I, I never knew that. Oh. I'm sure when I first read this ability, it didn't banish the cards. And it, then it destroys itself. I think we lost, guys. Like I said, I didn't test this deck whatsoever. But I'm going to start doing this from now on. At the beginning of my videos, I'm going to use, like, a, he's going to discard and win the game. At the beginning of videos, I'm going to take one of my deck ideas that I've been trying and just throw it into a, the beginning of my videos to showcase something wacky and then go into a proper deck. So he's going to just be at me right now and just keep discarding, which is fine. There we go. Like I said, I've never been a fan of Dragon Deck, so I'm never going to try and make a really, really good one. I wanted just to try something really wacky. So to get the other four PvP games, I don't want to do remote, demo, please don't do us. there we go. To get our other four PvP games, I think we'll try something a little bit silly. Let's... Nah. If that was my proper balloon deck, I would have took that. Just, just, just for fun. Is that an actual dragon's deck? Let's see what that is. Oh yeah, I tried making that as well. So the deck we will take... Hmm. We'll take a we'll take clowns. Got a feeling my clown deck will be able to destroy everything in gold. As you can see, here's the other deck. Well, my clown deck. I use this in platinum quite a few times. Um, it really, really does destroy most decks. It's really, really fun, especially if you open up with the perfect hand, and it can do so much stuff. So we're running the two mirror walls. I would run three, but I've only got the two. Um, two Asesian Trap Balls, just to half their attacks. Security Orbs, a screw over Harpies and just save us, and yeah. I'm not running any d Desert Sunlights or anything because it only works with um, the Clown, so I don't see any point of running Sunlight in this deck. And it seems to do alright without it, so yeah. We'll just see what we can do right now. This Control Clown kind of deck has been putting in quite a lot of work. I know it's got at least about like a 60% win, win rate. Here's another freaking Baldi deck. Hey, we lose a rank if we lose. Let's go. He's about to get his Dark Magician out in first turn and just messes up. So this turn we'll summon our Dream Clown. We'll send it Windstorm and then that turn. So that's a pretty good opening for a Clown deck. Especially if you open up with Clown and something to protect your Clown, and they go second. Unless they put a Sergeant Electro on the field right now. I think we'll be alright. Oh, I think he's running... Is that Dan's deck? I think he's running Dan's deck. We'll find out right now. And he just ends his turn, so... Maybe it's a Kickfire deck. Either way, three back rolls gets the poop out on me. Yep, there's the kick fire. Thing is, Clown destroys it by effect as well, so he'll get a counter. There's a second kick fire. Has he got all three on his first turn? That's insane if he has. So what we're gonna do is lock down that back uh, that third, the one closest to his deck, or attempt to, and it paid off as well. And we will not activate the clown effect whatsoever right now. And then we'll just go for the attack. Because if we activate clown, he'll put one counter on each and that's 2,000 damage. I, 
think actually Dan showcased this Kickfire deck on his channel. Ooh, scary. Actually, that, he has to destroy his own monster right here. Wait, but how, how much damage is that? Two counters on each, that's game, I think. That's game right there. I get, and then I draw. He activates both of them and I lose. GG. That's actually pretty powerful. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So there's our second game and our second loss. I'll stick with this deck for now though. I'll definitely try and grind all the way up to King of Games though, before it um, goes. Uh, don't worry though, I'll, I won't use Harpies whatsoever and I won't, I won't like try and, try and use anything too meta because I, I don't I find the meta boring. I like using other things. And we're against a Weevil. Things are just getting better and better from here. If we get absolutely stumped by this Weevil deck, we might actually swap to something a little bit better. Parasite Pirate. <laughs> three and then the top cards of Parasite. That's insane. And we're going second. So it looks like PvP hates us today. So I said we'll, we'll do about five duels, so we've got two more after this. And for the last two I'll probably use something more serious. I don't want to keep going back to my Gravekeeper deck because that'll just feel that'll just, that'll just be boring for the videos. You guys don't want to see Gravekeepers all the time. If you'd like to actually play anything, hopefully it's disconnected. He's got the perfect start and he's freaking stolen time. We'll see what he does though. So he sets a card. Sets another card. Where? That's not a normal freaking Weevil deck. And we got shafted by getting a Parasite as well. So we could bring out the Clown now, but we've got nothing to protect ourselves in case because he'll be able to get another monster out next turn. So I think our best bet is Sergeant Electro, but I'm not going to go into attack into his monster because he'll get the free search from it. So what I'm going to try and do is lock down something on his back row and then just end our turn. Hopefully he doesn't have a Jade Whistle as well in his hand, that would, that would kind of suck. The reason why I'm locking down middle is because everyone puts enemy controller in the middle. <laughs> He always put traps at either side and then always put an enemy controller in the middle. So he's wondering if he should activate a card or not right now. We'll see what he does. He doesn't decide, so we'll, we'll just end our turn. Because we don't want him getting the free search. The card in his hand, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. But it's scary. Hopefully it's not a freaking Kyber Man or Settle Man. Oh, he pulled the whistle. He pulled the whistle. Of course he did. He top decked it as well. That's fine. So he's going to attack into the parasite. Wait. Yeah, that's fine. We will set down the statue and lock down his other back card. I'm playing very defensively because if I attack into that he gets a search off and because he doesn't have a lot of cards in his hand that search will help him dramatically. So we'll go straight into the battle phase and I will Sphere Creeper this attack. Both of his back cards are locked away as well. So, I'll flip this into attack mode. Flip statue. 
returning it to his hand so he doesn't get the free search. I'll return the statue to face down. Because then next turn he has to make a choice to attack into the parasite to do damage. Or attack into the statue. And both of his back row are locked up. Now he's on lower health points than us and he top decked a parasite for onto our deck. So we're in pretty good shape right now. Let's see what he does. He has four cards in his hand. So he decides to bring out the Mirage Dragon. Is he going to collide with the Electro? We'll see what he does. He made the right choice there. So we'll activate his effect before doing anything to target his back card. Then we will set another statue, throw that to defense, and set, and end our turn. He's most likely going to bring out his summoner again, and we'll cut his attack in half. Also getting chain reaction damage. So he'd probably attack into his, uh, our face down with his Mirage Dragon, which he doesn't. If we pull any defensive card right now, we'll be in good shape because we'll be able to summon the Clown. So we pull a, another Electro. Our best bet is to summon the Electro and try and lock down the right card. And the right card is going to be that middle one. Because he took so long to try and um, figure out if he should activate it or not. We'll just target the middle one. We will flip. We turn that back to his hand so he doesn't get the free search. We'll set this down. Then we'll go in for the attack. Please don't have golden apples. He had no golden apples, so we are in pretty good shape. If we pull a trap, we probably will win because of chain reaction. We just need to get lucky with our next draw. Hopefully we don't get um, Gandora. I think that's his name. That big dude. He's going to attack into our statue, obviously. Or he might have a Metal Morph in the back row. I'm thinking that now. We'll see what he does. So he takes out the statue. Hopefully we can pull a trap. Can we please pull a trap? We pull another statue. So we are, we are going to lock down another card. And then... Yeah, we'll set a statue. We're going for a battle. And we win. Thank god, thank goodness, that was a close one as well. I don't know what kind of deck he was trying to run, I think it was a blue ice deck mixed with parasites, which is pretty evil, but it just slowed down the engine of his deck. But GG to him. So let's see what our last battle will be against. So it might be a last gamble deck, which will be pretty fun. And if it's a look on your side deck, we have chain reaction to end it. Or if it's last gamble, we'll be able to end it as well. And if you, yeah, you'll have desert twister or whatever it's called. So setting the security orbs pretty good. And then we will summon a clown and end our turn. Because summoning a clown and putting a face down is one of the scariest opening hands any, anyone can have. If you face a deck and they go first and open up with a clown and a face down, you know for a fact it's going to be a pretty sketchy duel. So he sets a card. We'll probably see a storm. Hopefully he summons a monster before he storms. So he sets two. We're going to see the storm now. 
There we go, there's the monster. So he's gonna go in for battle, so we'll have to activate the orb. He loses 200. And the best thing is, if he does last gamble, and we have a trap down, chain reaction will instantly kill him. If we and the best card we can draw right now will probably be Windstorm if we can get that, which we do not. So we will set a statue and go in for the attack. So even if he does throw us into defense mode, we'll be able to destroy his monster. If he uses one of his back row cards, we'll be in good shape. There we go. He's wasting. He's wasting stuff. And now from this, we'll be able to destroy. And even if he has got an enemy control at the back row, which he does because it's giving him an option to do something right now, he can't pick the face down card. So now he knows this turn he has to get rid of that clown because it's the biggest threat, but he doesn't know about the statue. So we'll see what he does. He needs to take care of the statue, but he also knows this, um, the clown's a big deal. But he just sets a card. So we draw into a mirror wall, which is pretty perfect. We will keep our big boy in our hand for now. And summon another clown. Then we'll throw this clown into attack as well. And I'll also activate this, just to throw that back to his hand. Because it's most likely going to be a... I'm going to guess a Yomi ship, because everything's a Yomi ship these days. Whenever you don't want a Yomi ship, it's always a Yomi ship. So he can activate something right now. He's going to activate the enemy controller, which is fine. Because he's going to have to tribute his monster. Meaning we're still going to be, like, have full control over the ball. Board? Ball? Board? If he takes a statue, he's... Oh no, he should have took a statue. Now we'll just activate this effect to throw it back into face down and end our turn. And we have three monsters on the field and he will have none. Unless that's a dimensional gate. Is, is it a dimensional gate? Nope. If you guys want to see more control decks and more clown decks, um, just tell me down in comments because I'm, I'm really good at making control decks for some reason and clown decks. So if you want to see more clown control decks, just let me know. He decides to last gamble. He knows I've got uh, the joys of gold. And he draws one card, but he puts the score later down, so. Are you ready? I think. Wait. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. Because he gains a thousand. He played it smart. Because we got chain destruction, so he would have killed himself there. And he just surrendered. Well, he did get the freaking one card draw, which was unfortunate for him. So there's the win. And we took no damage as well from that duel. I think one more and we level up, but I think we've already done five battles, so we'll just check. Play one. Oh, we need to do one more. We'll need to do one more. So that's cool. You'll see us go from um, gold two to gold one to gold two again. If you guys want me to just grind up to like platinum off camera, I'll do that just so it saves the hassle. Or if you enjoy me um, like doing the duels and gold, just let me know. Just let me know what you prefer. Because I don't, I don't mind either way. I find it fun like facing all these crazy random decks. So this is probably going to be a Power of Darkness. Let's see. Yep. Power of Dark. Ooh, that hand is tasty. And we're going first. So we'll set the statue, set the this, and end our turn. What I don't want to do though is, um, I did it before in the last duel, is use the hole, but then just return the monsters to their hands so they can summon it at full strength. So we'll just we'll just keep it face down for now. Ah, that's cool. 200 defense. But I've been working on a counter spell deck as well, so that's that's something. 
I'll show it off maybe in tomorrow's video if I get it working properly. So now I can just return that to his hand. Wait, how much? 1,900 just for summoning it. Ooh. But I think I need to bring out the Electro anyway. This might freak him and uh, make him activate some of his back row and waste him. Even though we're going to just return his monster to his hand. We'll go for the closest to his deck. And that was the Windstorm, that's fine. Then we'll flip this, return it back to his hand. So now we know that he doesn't have a Windstorm, so we don't need to play around that. And then we'll activate this again. D-spell. He's going to um, know what it is, but it's not going to get destroyed, so that's okay. D-spell, uh, mostly. It doesn't do anything, basically, except give him knowledge that if he summons that, he's going to go down. <laughs> Chain reaction as well, he loses 200. And he can't get over either of our monsters right now. And um, the smart move was to take more damage and just attack into that, just so I can't activate his effects properly. But he doesn't. So before I do anything, I need to activate Sergeant Electro to target his other back row. There we go, now we got that one down. We'll summon the clown. Throw this into attack mode. I don't want to return that back to his hand. So we'll, we will just go in for the attack. We attack with the Electro first to see if he had a uh, Sphere Kribo in his hand. Because we didn't want our clown getting Spear Karibo. So now he's got the choice to destroy the clown or destroy the statue. Because either one's really, really dangerous for him. And he's, he decides to go for the clown. Once your opponent has a clown and a statue on the field, it becomes really, really difficult of a battle. Because they have to choose one or the other, but they know the next turn the other one can activate and destroy the monster anyway. So, just like that, I can activate the statue, return that to his hand. And we'll just go in for double attacks because we've got a security orb to protect us just in case. And that's game. I'll also leave this deck in the link down below as well, in case you want to check out this deck. Like I said, this deck works all the way up into Plat 3, because I was, I was using it in Plat 3. I think I got a 4 win streak with it at plat 3, so it almost got me King of Games as well. So right now we're going to pick up 100 gems and open up 2 packs, see if we can get anything nice. And if Mokuba is lying around anywhere, we'll give him a quick battle. No Mokuba. Hey, there's Mokuba. I'll only do him though if he's level 40. He's a level 30, we'll leave him. He's a noob. With the level 30 Mokubas, all I've done is um, also do one, because I don't care about them. And the funny thing is, I, ha I have nearly all of the cards from Mokuba. Already. And they're just from the level 40 ones that have appeared. So, one Karibo. Are we going to get anything cool? Don't. Eh. Yeah. Nope. Anything cool in this one? Rainbow? Hey, I needed that guy. The Warrior returning alive. It's cool. Make sure you pick the Warrior Returning Alive on, because like a few months or maybe in a year when um, Elemental Heroes come out, most of them are Warriors, so you need your Warrior Returning Alive when they come back. Well, if they come out. And by then, that box will be disappeared. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're new here, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.